Now, show sure, students. We will continue chapter number 9, decimals, part 3, page number 78 and 79. Exercise 9A. Today we will start with fill in the blanks. You can see that I have written on the board. You can also see your book. Sum number 5B, 38.065. Okay, I told you that after decimal, we say the digits separately. That is why I have said 0, 6, 5. Now, we will have to do fill in the blanks. Is equal to tens plus Ones plus tens plus hundreds plus thousands. It is given in the book. So now, how we will Put the digits over there. Here, I can make you remember that before the decimal point. Here it is written 38. What is the place value of 3? Tens. And 8 ones. After decimal, the first digit it is tens. Then the second one, this is hundreds. And the third one, it is thousands. Clear? So, according to their places, we have to Write the digits over there. So, here it is written tens, dash tens. Tens, in tens place, what is the digit? Three. So, you will put down three over there. Then ones. What is there in ones? Eight. So, we will put eight over there. Plus, tens. Which digit is there in tens place? After decimal, first digit, that is zero. We will put down 0 over there. Then hundreds. What is there? In hundreds place, that is 6. Second position after decimal point. 6. So you will put down 6 over there. And dash thousands. After decimal, what is there in third position? Which digit is there? That is 5. So you will put down 5 over there. So, in this way, you will have to write down the digits in the blank spaces. But before that, you will have to make sure whether you know it clearly what are the positions of the digits. Tens place, hundreds place, thousands place or tens place, hundreds place and thousands place. Clear? Now I am rubbing this one. Write in short form. Number 6. What is there in number 6? 6a 5 tens plus 7 ones plus 2 tens plus 6 hundreds.
six hundredths. Now we will have to write down in short form. So five tenths. What does five tenths mean? Fifty. Then plus seven ones. That means seven. Okay. Plus two tenths. That means two by ten. And plus six hundredths. That means six by one hundred. Clear? Now fifty plus seven. What is fifty plus seven? Fifty-seven. Then these are the decimal fractions. So we have to put the decimal point over here. Clear? Two tenths. That means ten. After decimal, only one digit. That is the first position two, and then six hundredths. That means after decimal, the second position six will be there in second position. That means in hundredths place. That is six. So fifty-seven point two six. Clear? You won't have to write this one. This I have done to make you understand. If you understand the uh, process properly, then you can easily write the answer over here only. Fifty-seven point two six. Clear? Now, and for another example, if it is nine hundreds plus five tens plus four ones. Plus three tenths plus three hundredths plus seven thousandths. How you will write this in short form? As same as the previous one. Nine hundreds plus five ten tens plus four ones. Nine hundred plus five tens that means fifty plus four ones that means four plus three tens that means three by ten plus three hundreds that means three by one hundred plus seven thousands that means seven by one thousand. Okay, now what will be in short form? Nine hundred plus fifty plus four. So nine hundred fifty-four. There, these are the decimal fractions. So you have to put the decimal point over there, and then three tenths. First position after decimal three. Okay, then three hundredths. Hundredths means second position after decimal. That will be three also, and. Seven thousands. That means the third position after decimal. So it will be seven. So your answer comes as in short form nine nine hundred fifty four point three three seven. This is your answer. I hope you have understood. So now I am also rubbing this one. Now, write in expanded form. Write in expanded form and write the values. of decimal parts as common fraction
common fractions. Clear? Now, I am giving you one example. Suppose the sum is 643.754. So, you will have to write this into expanded form and the values of decimal parts as common fractions. Decimal parts, that means 0.754 into common fractions. So, how will we write? Expanded form, that means we have to expand. 643, 600, 600 plus 4 tenths. 4 is in tenths position. 40 plus 3 is in ones position. So, 3. 43.754. This part you will have to write in common fraction. So, after decimal, the first digit is 7. That means 7 is in tenths place. So, plus... 7 by 10 plus next digit 5. 5 is in hundreds place. The second position after decimal. Okay. So 500. Then 4. The last one. 4 is in third position after decimal. That means 1000. So 4 thousands. So, in this way, you will have to write the expanded form and the values of the decimal parts as common fraction. You can see that I have written this in as common fraction. Okay, but the whole number 643, we will have to expand this number in this way. I hope that you have understood. Clear? Now, I am giving you the what to do. Sums to be done in the book. Exercise 9A. 5, 6, 7. 5, 6, 7. Okay. And in the max class or copy. Eight. So I hope that you have understood. You will see the whole class again and again. I hope that you will be able to understand. So students. Today up to this much, we will continue this chapter in our next class. Till then, Namshibai students.